Hello and welcome to the UK's largest ham radio warehouse. And it's our pleasure to give you the service that you deserve. A wide range of amateur radio products and accessories. They're just a click away. Go onto our website and make your selection. Click and we'll have them shipped out to you very fast indeed. Usually on a 24 hour dispatch. Before we start this video, some new arrivals. The Ellicraft K4 has just landed, our first sample, which we shall be checking out and publishing a video very shortly. Secondly, we've just got a new supply of the Ellicraft KX2 QRP transceivers, giving 12 watts output. And of course, we are waiting the Discovery TX500 from Lab 599. We've got the sample. We expect stock to arrive in September. Hello and thank you for joining me on the Waters and Stanton video channel. I'm going to talk about antennas. You know, I've been a great fan of the N-Fed half-wave antenna. In fact, I've done a number of videos on it. You may have seen some of them. The great advantage of the N-Fed half-wave is that it's a multiband antenna. If you feed it on the lowest frequency, for example, 40 meters, it'll work on 20 meters, 15 and 10 meters, just like that. All you need is the matching transformer. And uh, I've used one myself now for several years. But I wanted uh, an antenna that I could take out with me. And the two bands I really enjoy working are 20 meters and 17 meters. Both are DX bands and both can provide some very interesting contacts and even when there's not DX about there's still some interesting short skip. The problem is that if you have an infid antenna that operates on 20 meters it won't operate on 17 meters because it's not harmonically related particularly if the base band is 20 meters. So if I have a length of wire that I want to go out portal with which is 10 meters long and I use a transformer, I can use that antenna as an end-fed half-wave on 20 metres. It works fine. It's only 33, 34 foot long, sorry, uh, metres. It's only about uh, 10 metres long, but uh, it won't work on 17 metres. Well, when I say it won't work, as it stands it won't work, what I've been pondering is there a way that I can make this antenna work both on 20 meters and 17 meters without changing the length? Well, there is. Now, before I go into the details of the antenna, first of all, you do need a matching transformer. I've done a video on matching transformers and I'll put a link to it below this video. You can make your own matching transformer. It's very simple and I've actually made it even simpler than some of the other um, videos you see. Just using tin copper wire which is easy to solder. Don't bother about twisting wires together. And I've show, I'll show you a picture here of the end product. This is, this is the matching transformer that I use currently on my base station antenna. It handles 100 watts and it's worked fine for the last two years or so. So once you've got your transformer, you're ready to go. So let me put on the screen, first of all, the drawing of a basic 20 meter N-fed half wave. Now, if you look at that drawing, you'll see that basically it's a length of wire with a transformer. That length of wire needs to be 20, uh, sorry, 10 meters long. If I want to make that work on 17 meters, I found a way of doing it. You need a trap. Now the trap I used is a 17 uh, meter trap and again I've done a video very recently on the 17 meter trap that you can make yourself and again I'll put a link below this video showing you how you can make your own trap. And I'll show you a picture here on the screen of 
the 17 meter trap I made. It's pretty crude, but it works. A coil and a length of coax cable. So now let's look at the revised drawing of this dual band antenna. And on the screen, you'll see that the same length of wire is being interrupted with a 17 meter trap. Now I'll show you the dimensions on the screen there. The dimension for 17 meters, in other words, from the transformer to the trap, is perhaps shorter than you would expect. And the reason for this is that N-fed half waves, with the, when the, when the N-fed half wave is fed with the transformer, which it normally has to be, you it, it forms a bit of inductive loading, so it actually shortens the length of the antenna slightly, which is no bad thing really. So the antenna is slightly shorter than it expected to be because of the loading of the transformer. So you'll see on the screen there I've got the 17 meter length of wire going from the transformer to the trap, and then a short length, less than a meter, of wire going beyond that, which then resonates on 20 meters. <clears throat> now the reason it's so short is because that trap not only traps 17 meters and isolates the rest of the antenna, but on 20 meters it adds a bit of extra inductive loading. So the total length of the antenna is somewhat shorter, which again is no bad thing if you're going portable. So now let me show you the VSWR curves on my uh, analyzer. You'll see they're very, very deep curves, very pronounced resonant points. It's a, it's a good antenna to use because you don't need an antenna tuner. You, okay, you need the matching transformer, but your, trans, your transmitter can go straight into that matching transformer and you can switch bands 20 meters or 17 meters just like that, just by changing the band on the uh, transceiver. There we are. It works well. I've had lots of contacts on it and it's something you can make yourself. All you need is a length of wire you can make your own transform if you wish, or buy a commercial one. You can make your own trap if you wish, or buy a commercial one. It's an interesting project to make. It's a worthwhile project to make, and it's great for portable operation. But also, if you've got a small garden, it'll work as a base antenna as well. Even if you've got a large garden, you can still use it. There we are. Well, thanks for watching this video, a little construction video. I try to intersperse construction and new products so that it maintains the balance of interest. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you found this interesting. And we'll be back soon with yet another video. In the meantime, take care. Enjoy your ham radio. Speak soon. <laughs>